at this moment, the, there has been, uh, well, more or less a new standard of care. That is immune therapy. It has proven to be for all comers better than chemotherapy uh, when you look at two drugs. But there it does not end because... If you look closely at the survival curves in the beginning, the first four to six months, you see that chemotherapy has a general a little bit an advantage. Um, so immune therapy might need to have selected patients, maybe patients with less large tumors, uh, smaller tumors, or a special uh, immunological status. So we have not yet figured out who we can best treat only with immunotherapy and who we should also give chemotherapy. Now for targeted agents, that's a quite a different uh, field of um, research because so far only on the mutated uh, 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 the genes, we have, do not have many drugs that are very active. So oral medication is probably only going to be a combination of, let's say, a, a, a vascular uh, inhibition with the TKI plus immunotherapy. And that is something that is being tested now. But for first line, for the non-epithelioid, it's a no-brainer. You should give immuno-oncology uh, drugs. For the epithelioid type, we have to do some more research.